Hey guys, Quentin here from My Name is Yu-Gi-Oh! Coming at you with a 2013 March ban list uh, Chaos Dragon deck. Um, this deck will suit the new ban list, which in my opinion it wasn't too bad. didn't really hurt the uh, dragons too much anymore besides hitting Sangin. So let's go ahead and start off. Um, I'm not really going to explain the, the effects of the cards in this video because I'm taking it. If you search this video, you already know what Chaos Dragons do. And so I'm just going to go through and explain some choices, but not really the effects of the monsters. Um, first off, the one Darkness Metal Dragon. You have to have this. It's the Beat Stick. It's one of the best cards in the deck. Next up, Triple uh, Light Pulsar. This is one of your MVPs in the deck. It brings out the Mini Loop with uh, Red Eyes. I play three of those and they because they can open up some good Ixies. And it just it's just a good call card all over. And then uh two Dark Flare Dragons. Uh these are my foolish burials. I don't run any foolish burials, so uh that's why I played two, not one. Um, one wyvern because your only targets are red eyes pretty much red eyes and a d uh, dark arm dragon pretty much. We're going to move on to the bosses, which, like I just said, Dark Arm Dragon, just one. This card is broken. Uh, Black Luster Soldier, which I'm surprised did not get hit on the ban list. This card is broken and can be a game changer for sure. Uh, then we have Black Luster Soldier's Little Brother, Chaos uh, Sorcerer. This card is pretty much like a small version of Black Luster. Um... Gores and Tragodia just for retaliation to be able to <clears throat> they can uh, change the game. Um Blackwing Zephros. I will explain my why I chose this in a little bit. It can open up some crazy combos. Um Plague Spreader Zombie for uh synchros and uh you you can just use them to synchro almost whenever you want. Um two tour guides. And a Night of Silent. Unfortunately, Sangin got banned, which didn't hurt too bad. But um, so you you're stuck to this trio here. There's not really much else you can do. So yep. <clears throat> um, two effect veilers, just to stop effects and just stopping combos. And then the light swords. We have two Lilas. These are like. MSTs pretty much, and they help you mill. And three Rikos, again, they just destroy cards and help you mill. Um, I don't play any MSTs because I play three Lilas and three Rikos. Well, I play one MST, my bad. Only one, I'm very low on it. And Honest to back up your lights. And a Maxi to stop, uh... A special summoning combo is pretty much just to stop a chain of comboing. <clears throat> and then uh, for the magics, or the spells, we have Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, 1 MST, um, Charge of Light Brigade to get, uh, I guess, for just emergencies. Um, Alert of Darkness, Pod Duality, and Pod of Avarice to reload. This uh, deck is graveyard heavy. And if you can't get any combos, Avarice works perfectly just to get your hand back up and put the cards back in your deck. Um, the traps, Mirror Force, uh, Torrential, Bottomless Trap Hole, Deep Prison. Uh, I like this card against Dark Worlds just to get Greffer out of the way. Um, Starlight Road for uh, Torrential Tribute, Dark Hole, uh, Heavy Storm. And then we have the Solemn Judgment and the Solemn Morning Duo because Solemn Morning got limited, which I don't really care. I always just played one anyways. Only one is two is too much for me. And now for the extra deck. Start with the Synchros. Um, Armory Arm, it pretty much it makes any monster in this deck a beat stick almost. And it has a great uh, after effect. Um, Stardust Dragon, which is a staple for all extra decks pretty much. Um, White Ogre Dragon, this card got overlooked. It This card just is great because you can negate uh, 
traps and whatnot. Um, Gaia, pretty much just the overlay, uh, like an Exa Beetle, which uh, he's he's just a dragon to overlay. Um, and Zector Exa Beetle, I'll explain in a minute why I have him. These two right here, uh, Zephros and Exa Beetle, these do some great combos. Photon Strike Bouncer because it's a boss. Uh, Levy of the Sea Dragon because you get a lot of banished cards and just pick them back whenever you want. It's also a easy way to get out Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Tour guides into this, banish this for Red Eyes, and then open up a combo. Um, get a sun stuck here. Um, Asa Golem for emergencies, I guess. Uh, if you're going for game, you can take him out. Zen means to stall. Get these unstuck here. Um, Utopia. I don't really use him too much anymore, but he's always good to have just in case. Um, Shockmaster. This card is broken. Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy, which I actually just pulled in the last video. This card is also broken and it can it can do wonders. And Steel Swarm Roach. I believe there's another card stuck under here. And Utopia Ray again for going for game or emergencies. Alrighty. And for the side deck, we have Cyber Dragon and Chimera Tech because uh, if you're playing against like Gear Gears or any other machines, or, like wind ups, even though they're dead now, but uh, these are just emergencies to get those out of there. DD Crows for anything, I guess, that works in the graveyard and Zectors uh, and Dark World, blah, blah, blah. Um, two Fossil Dyna just to stop special summoning combos. Uh, Spirit Reaper, it's a, I don't know, it's just a level 3 and a staller. Uh, two Smashing Ground, get rid of pesky cards. Two Compulse to get rid of uh, special, or Synchros and Ixie summons. Two decrees, don't like traps, don't like magics, just hate back row. <laughs> and two macros cosmos for insectors, uh, anything I guess. Insectors um, and definitely uh, dark worlds. Macros cosmos is a great card. Alright, now let me go into a little explanation here about these two. If I could uh, search for cards really quick just to explain let's see here and let's see all right it works with more than just these but all right say so you got exa beetle out and you use the effect to equip dark arm dragon and say zephyros in your graveyard bring zephyros back bring him back to your hand and if you have three darks in the graveyard there you go you got your dark arm dragon same thing with black luster play or summon uh... will attach with uh... Exec exa beetle summon pop this back to your hand special summon if you have a light in the dark in the graveyard same thing goes for this and uh... also another good play if you have Exa Beetle effect, attach uh, Red Eyes from your graveyard, summon from your graveyard, pop back, overlay him, banish the dragon, bring him, uh, bring Red Eyes to the field, and go for a combo. Bring out Light Pulsar, get your chain back together. Uh, pretty much go for game. So yeah, this card is a. Uh, Pretty overlooked, I guess, when it comes to uh, Chaos Dragons. Um, I like it a lot. It's, uh, it can only be used once per game, which sucks, but he's a great card. So, Alrighty, well, that, that's pretty much it for this um, deck profile. If you liked it, comment uh, any questions, uh, like the video, um, subscribe. Also, I just did an opening, the previous video, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you watch that. Um, we have been on a long hiatus, so we're just starting to get back in the game. I had a lot of work with college and whatnot, so, uh, make sure you just 
look for look forward for more videos. We're slowly getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, so with all the um, new pack releases, all new cards, we're kind of behind, but we hope to catch up here in a minute. So thanks for watching, guys.